said it was a good practice getting back and working on some things. Would you agree with that, to, to not have a game in 12 hours and just to get back and correct some things? Yeah, I feel like we haven't had a real practice, you know, in a while. But I guess it hasn't been that long. But, you know, it felt good to get back and get on that court, get on the practice court and just work on some things. You know, if we didn't do it right, stop it and really shore some things up that we need to shore up. What did you guys learn about yourselves in playing three games in three days? Uh, we learned that we got some fighters, you know, on our team. You know, we got some guys that, that can persevere, you know, and that's our, that's our main thing right now. We just want to go everywhere and, and, and fight, you know what I'm saying, um, and execute our game plan. But it, the game is, you know, it gets, it gets mental, you know, it gets really physical, but then it gets mental toward the end, you know, and that's what we want to get better at. Coach yeah. said he uh, challenged you guys specifically after the Baylor game. What was that challenge? I mean, what, what was said and, and how did you guys take it? Um, I think we just, it was just, you know, we want, like you said, you want to take it to these teams, you know, sometimes you're going to get punched in the mouth, but we got to get, we got to punch back. And that's the challenge that, that he had for us. And also just, like I said, being more mental in the end of the, end of the game, um, really just focusing in the end of games, because that's when, you know, we, we start out pretty well and then teams go on runs and we got to be able to sustain our own runs. Aaron, how do you guys keep from uh, riding that roller coaster, say even kill, not getting too high? Of victories and not too low off of losses. Um, that's something that the coaches are really helping us with because uh, you know it's only a couple of players on our team that have been you know to, to to a final four. You know what I'm saying? And and Coach Izzo, you know he's won championships, so we just got to listen to our coaching staff. What do you expect from Duke? Uh, a top team. You know that's a top five program has been for a long time. Um, you know Hall of Fame coach over there. Um, I expect a intricate intricate team. Uh, a, a team that's going to come intact, um, tough team, and like I said, one of the best teams we're going to play this season. Aaron, MSU has played Duke close the last couple times they've met up. And your coach said it'd be a bucket list game for you guys to get mm -hmm. a win. So just for you guys as the players, what does it mean to play at Cameron Indoor, and how big would it be to get a win? Well, I mean, that's, for, from our perspective, it's, you know, it's crazy to play at a, a place like that, you know, growing up. Watching all the great players that came through there, you know, schools like that, North Carolina, Michigan State, uh, it's just kind of surreal for myself, and I'm sure it is for a lot of my teammates. Uh, but it's just it's a great opportunity for us, for our team, like you said, um, to make a big step forward and and get a good win. You know, like you said, buckle buckle this win. You know, it's gonna be a good win. The young guys, you guys have been on the court with excellent teams already this mm -hmm. year, Baylor and Kentucky and so forth. First time the young guys have gone to an environment like this. What advice will you have for them about uh, trying to stay focused through what they'll see down there? Uh, in a tough environment, they haven't really seen that. You, you've not been there either, I don't think. Right, but right. You've been on. You've been to Indiana. I've been in big stages. Um, well, I just say you know the game is basketball, and we gotta go there and play basketball. Um, you know it's gonna be rocking. The fans, the fans are gonna be loud. Uh, you know. Coach is going to be on our, uh, you know, going to be on us uh, heavy, and we just gotta, we just gotta stay focused as players and stay composed and go out there and do our job. Um, and then, you know, when we come back, we can be, you know, really kind of pat ourselves on the back, kind of if we're going in there and getting, a, getting a win. But for the moment being, we got to go in there and play a basketball game. Coach, you hear in West Virginia, what's the hardest place to play? Uh, Iowa was really hard to play at, um, but but Kansas is hard to play at. At Kansas, also, um, it's a bunch of places. I feel like you know, it's, like I said, five years. I'm five years in, and uh, it's a lot of places I played at. But I, I, I think Iowa and actually Purdue too. Purdue was one of the hardest places I played at. Coach talked about the, the travel and everything, kind of cutting down on, on practice time and all mm -hmm. that. How have you guys, as players, I guess, responded over the last month? What What is that, I guess, travel grind been like for you? Uh. You know, he always kind of he always kind of reminds us that, you know, we've had a tough travel schedule, but but if we want to play at the next level, you know, it's something that we're gonna have to get used to. Um, but it's tough, but that's what we, that's what we built for, and that's what we asked for, and uh, we have no complaints. So. Aaron, speaking of all the travel, there's been a lot of games. Do you feel like you have your legs under you, and th that you? How do you fight that as a shooter, being tired? Oh, uh, um, I don't think that's an excuse right now. You know, we got all the tools for rehab, and, uh, you know, uh, I'm an experienced player, so I'm not really thinking about the fatigue in my legs or the fatigue in, you know. I got, I got it. I'm trying to make myself into a great player, and that's what I'm here for. So I'm more, more so focused on how can I stay consistent, you know, doing what I'm supposed to do. Um, 
And it's, it's all about your mentality. It's all about in the mind, you know. So if you want to choose to complain about something, you're going to complain. But but if not, you're just going to, you know, find a way to adapt. Mm. How do you stop dribble drive penetration the way Duke does all the time without foul? It seems like a lot of teams get in foul trouble. Yeah. Uh, well, we know that's what they like to do. They want to, you know, mostly drive to the middle. Um, but they got some aggressive drivers. Um, but what we want to do, we just want to, we, we don't want to extend our defense out too, too, too far out, you know, and create bigger gaps. And we got to, we got to play help defense. You know, that's the, that's the baseline of our defense is, is help defense being in the gaps. So, uh, we got to depend on our teammates more than we depend on our own, on our own self. But at the same time, we got to stay in front of our defender and we got to show our hands on defense. And also those post players got to be able to react, you know, if, if, if we get beat, you know, um, but you know, we, we don't want, we don't want to play with fouls. He got it!